Thank you everyone to, for joining us. Uh, we have Jason Gillespie with us for the press conference. Uh, Daniel, first question from your side. Thank you. So the mark fan there. Nice idea. Hey. Um, in the first seven overs today, under overcast skies, it looked like Bangladesh were quite comfortable batting. Um, the ball didn't seem to be doing much. So I just wondered, we spoke last month and you said it was important to keep players like Shaheen and Naseem fit for this series. Um, could you just talk us through the idea behind leaving Naseem out, especially when Shaheen was going to be unavailable? Yeah, so we, we looked at conditions, looked at surfaces, what, um, what we thought uh, the best combination was going to be, um, taking into account uh, what, we, what we saw for the game, uh, reflected on the previous game, and, and this is where we landed. Um, I think in the first innings, if you saw, I mean, at one point we had Bangladesh in a bit of strife and, and we bowled quite well. Our lines, our lengths uh, were excellent. Um, I, I suppose the, the only thing that was, you know, once lunch came and we came to that afternoon session, um, to be uh, fair, Bangladesh played well, but on reflection, and I spoke to the bowlers about it uh, this morning, that we've got to identify those periods where, you know, maybe the ball's just got a little bit older, maybe the surface settles down, and we've just got to really hang in um, and not try and, I suppose, search for wickets, because you, you can fall into that trap. Um, and, and I think that's probably what we did a little bit. Um, but look, just on, the, on that decision, um, obviously there's a, there's a few things that um, we're hoping uh, Shaheen and can work on. Um, he's obviously had a, had a pretty eventful time in his personal life as well. So um, all, all that being considered, um, we, we want Shaheen Afridi to be at his very best for as much cricket as possible. He's an all format player and we've got a pretty heavy schedule. So we want to make sure that he's fit and firing and he's bowling at his very best so that he can play as many games as possible for Pakistan. Is yeah, he seem to be Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, so the, the boys are fine. And I think what, what we've got to understand is that we're trying to build a, a squad mentality and not just rely on you know, a few players here and there. We want to create an environment and a, and a squad where we can look at conditions look at surfaces, look at what holistically what is um, coming up and make the best decisions, informed decisions that we can um, for the betterment of the team and the squad and we want to um, make sure we put our best foot forward each and every time we go out to play. Afternoon Dizzy, this is Bairam Kazi from Pro Sports. Hey mate, how are you? Good, good. Bit of a radical move to go with the new ball pair of Mir Hamza and Khurram Shahzad. They obviously did exceptionally well. You worked with Mir Hamza at Sussex prior as well. Yep. But they weren't as penetrative with the old ball. So what do you think Pakistan could have done differently to kind of seize the moment and bowl Bangladesh out quickly? And as far as yep. home test templates go, these conditions look pretty solid. Are you happy with them? Uh, I'm happy with the conditions. So th there's no issues there. Um, yeah, it's a good question. Um, didn't help that we had Mo Ali off for a period of time yesterday. That that, that was a bit of a blow. Um, but obviously his health was the most important, and uh, he, he was just struggling out there a little uh, for a while there. So we needed to get him off and get him assessed, and uh, and thankfully he's okay. Um, so he uh, he was about to start bowling then um, before the uh, rain came. But um, but look. We, we, know, we know we probably didn't bowl as effectively as we know we can, particularly after lunch, um, after we had Bangladesh in a bit of strife, as I just mentioned to Daniel. Um, we just make sure we need to keep fronting up, you know, um, spoken to our bowlers about being ruthless, being disciplined and bowling with intent. Um, and we just went away from our game plan. And, you know, I've challenged the bowlers pretty strongly on that, that we need to make sure that we're on each and every time. Cause Test cricket can get away from you. Uh, opposition are very good, um, you know, and full credit. You know, I'm, I'm not going to shy away from that. I think Bangladesh played well. Um, no, no, no question, those guys batted, batted really well. But I know that our bowlers can do better in that situation than, uh, than what they showed. And, you know, we had a good discussion about it. Um, and we just need to make sure that that execution is absolutely bang on each and every time. No worries. Yes, but this is Zahid Malik. Uh, you just joined before that uh, two test match to Pakistan team. 
if, uh, if we see the two matches performance of the Pakistan team, what are the positive you have seen so far? Uh, there are there are a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. Once in the first uh, test match, looking it should going to draw, then drama, and the second uh, in the second test, once you are 26 six and uh, you are near to follow on, but yep. and now uh, you are with the help of uh, Reynard looking. Uh, now we're only ten wickets yeah. away from what winning. Was the, what was the positive you have so far seen yep. in the Pakistan team? Yeah, no, look, great question. Thank you for that. Um, look, certainly the the first test match. Um, there were some positives. We, we were sent in and found ourselves in a little bit of trouble. There was, um, um, and then a, some really good partnerships and got us into a position where we were able to drive the game. And, and that was the whole goal. We wanted to try and uh, force a result. Um, unfortunately, we probably didn't bowl as well as we know we could. Um, Bangladesh played well, scored some runs, and then we, we missed out in the second innings, which was, I, I suppose, the, the thing, the work ons. Uh, our second innings batting in both games probably hasn't, hasn't been what we'd like. Um, the positives is we've been getting starts. So if you look at the first innings of this game, we had a big partnership after losing Abdullah, 107 between uh, Sam and Sham. And then we also had five partnerships between 25 and 32 runs. So we're getting starts, we're getting in there. We just need to capitalise on those. We probably needed a couple of those partnerships to be 7,500 plus, and then we're absolutely driving the game. So, so they're the learnings for us. Also in our first innings, um, besides Abdullah, all our top, uh, our other six batters in the top seven faced at least 29 balls, 30 balls, I think. So the lads are getting in. We just need a couple of guys to go on and, and really make, um, you know, make the most of those starts, which is we've seen our opposition do that. So we've got to learn from that. And uh, we did that in the first game, just not quite in the second. But um, but yeah, sort of um, I've, I've been happy um, with the efforts of our bowlers. Um, as I said just now, I'm challenging them pretty hard on, on their disciplines and their ruthlessness. Um, and that's just something that's going to be ongoing process for us to, if we're going to be a, a good test cricket side and compete with the best, we need to make sure we're nailing the basics uh, time and time and time again. That's what Test Cricket's about. Hi, Jason. Hello. This is Rizwan from AP. Hi, Rizwan. Um, can you talk something about uh, the form of uh, Babar Azam and especially your top four? Yep. They are what would you like to know? Are, uh, what has happened to Babar Azam's batting form? Because he has been struggling for the last 16 innings. And you have seen him playing the last four yourself. Uh, look, Bubba's a quality player, and you know he's he's got a couple of starts, and a, a bit like a, a few of our players, just haven't hasn't been quite able to convert those starts. But Bubba is a world class player, and look, he's he's very close. I I, I feel it. I'm, I'm really confident that we're going to see uh, Bubba scoring some big runs very soon. So look, while I, I know he's disappointed, he probably hasn't converted his starts that he's got. Um, he's too good a player and uh, looking forward to seeing him do really well. And, and you mentioned the top four. Um, look, again, it's, a, it's probably the same answer. Uh, we, we're getting starts um, and just not capitalising on those starts. So, um, again, that's, you know, test cricket is a game of patience um, and being very disciplined in whatever you do. And if you can do that for longer than the opposition, you give yourself the best chance of driving the game forward. You'll hear me say that word a lot, uh, or that phrase a lot, is about driving games. I know Sean's very big on it. We want to drive games, but we have to earn the right to be able to do that. And that's where we challenge our batters. Once we get in, let's go big and let's put the opposition under the cosh of it. Um, and that's just probably these two tests, we probably quite haven't done that. We've shown glimpses of what we can do, but we just need to put sessions together, put days of cricket together. We, we have a good session and then we have a, a not so good session. So we need to make those gaps a lot smaller. Okay. Are, are the coaches working with Barbara in the nets? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's been fine. There's been a lot of discussions, a lot of communication. Um, and the coaches have been excellent and putting a lot of time and effort into it. Um, all the players are putting the time and effort in. 
um, to identify ways to be even better. And you know that's what I'm really proud of. Uh, this group of players who uh, you know I'm getting to know these guys and uh, learning about you know what they're about and what makes them tick. I, I love. I love their work ethic with their cricket and uh, with their skills, and they're, they're striving hard each and every day to get better. And uh, you know that that's that's very exciting for me. Uh, it's very exciting for the coaches. Jason, this hey, is Mohammad Izaz from Park Passion. So a lot of things went wrong for Pakistan in this series, and we struggled in many aspects of the game. So. Yep. Facing England, tougher opposition in South Africa and England in October, we face England, we go to South Africa in December. Mm -hmm. Do you think you and your team has got enough time to work on the shortcomings mm -hmm. and do you think Pakistan fans can hope for better results against England and South Africa? Yeah, I mean, well, we've got a game to win tomorrow, hopefully, so if we bowl well, um, we'll, we'll be in a position to win a game of cricket. A lot of people are probably thinking this game's over, but we're certainly not thinking that. Um, going forward, yeah, look, we know there's some challenges coming up, but I'm really confident in this uh, group of players. Um, we've got some, a lot of quality in that dressing room and I'm very excited to be able to work with them. I know all the coaches are. Um, and we just sharpen up a few areas that I've identified, you know, talking to these guys, a few areas that we can absolutely sharpen up. We're not shying away from that. We know we need to be better in certain aspects of the game, but the lads are working really hard and it, it will turn and things will improve. And we just have to, we have to believe that. Um, you know, confidence comes from evidence and the evidence is we're working, working hard. The boys are working really hard and that's where we'll derive our confidence from. We can take that out into the middle and then we just, we go out there and commit to the plans and, and we'll be fine. Okay. Hey coach, this is Abu Bakr from Greek Week. Hey mate. Uh, coach, uh, 26 for 6. Uh, yep. Our uh, Pacers took a brilliant start, but then uh, uh, to 262. Uh, yep. Do you think uh, Brar bowled 31 over, but Salman bowled just 3 to 4 overs? So we could have used Salman better than this, and uh, or we could have used some other part time spinner? Do you think so? Oh, you know, that might be something you can ask Sean. Um, but look, we, we decided to play Abra and give him an opportunity. There was a little bit in the surface for him. And, you know, he certainly felt in the game, as did, um, as did the skipper, uh, felt that he was potentially going to create some opportunities. Um, but look, look Salman uh, bowls nicely. Um, you know, we'll, we'll reflect on this game and we'll look at identify opportunities or things that we could have done differently. Um, but look, Abra was, was keeping things pretty tight there. Please understand that we were a bowler down as well. Um, Big Mo was, uh, was on, on the sidelines for a little while getting assessed. Um, so that left uh, a bigger load for, um, for Hammer and uh, Kurum. So um, I thought Sean did really well just working, his, working through his bowlers and, and that. But look, we'll certainly reflect on that. and. Uh, have a chat when the when the captain and myself sit down and with the coaches and, and have a discussion about about his leadership and you know things we could have done differently in that moment in time. But thanks for the question. Hi, Jason. Hi, mate. Um, Pakistan cricket not an ideal situation of Pakistan cricket right now. Probably we are at its worst. So we are on verge of losing another Test series at our home, dead to against a lower ranked team. So what is the way forward? Are we, can we expect some major changes in coming days? So your question was, uh, do you, can we expect forward? changes? And what is the way forward for Pakistan cricket to come out of this situation? Look, I, I think, again, it just comes down to uh, hard work and, um, you know, I, I think backing and support for players. Um, you know, I, I firmly believe we've got a, a lot of diverse players who can perform strongly for Pakistan. We just need to give them our support and our belief. And I'll certainly be doing that as head coach. You know, I, I believe in these players. I know they can perform really well. There is evidence to say that they can perform well at test level. They just need the backing and support. And I am sitting here now telling you they are going to get my backing and support. Look, we'll look at conditions and surfaces and there, there might be a change here or there depending on our opposition or um, all the conditions, but this core group of players is, uh, you know, is very exciting to work with, and 
they'll, they'll have my backing for sure. This is Arslan from Search TV. Uh, hey, coach, this is not about Babar Azam. Shan Masood also is struggling, is struggling with the form. Abdullah Shafi has a big question mark regarding his performances after the Sri Lanka inning. It was a master inning in Sri Lanka and after that we haven't witnessed a good inning from him. What's wrong with Abdullah Shafiq as well and why Shan Masood jumped to three? Why he couldn't be able to open the innings? Why he's not doing that? Uh, as I just said, um, I'm really comfortable with the players that we've got and as I said, they just need a bit of backing and support. They're good players. They don't lose their skills overnight. Um, sometimes players don't, don't score the runs or take the wickets or perform as well as they'd like. But what I'm striving for is a bit of consistency off the field to give us the best chance to be consistent on the field. So if we can back and support these players uh, who are very, very good players, uh, you, you mentioned that Abdullah scored some big runs in re recently. So, you know, after a couple of performances, you know, I don't see the need to make drastic changes. Um, and look, I've been in this job for five minutes, so uh, I'm still quite new to it. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in, um, in backing players in and um, giving them the opportunity. And, um, you know, I, as I said, the, this group of players um, are very good. They just need that backing and, and belief, and, and I believe that they're very good players. Uh, Thank yes, you. Abdul Jabbar Faisal from Sports Burden. Hello, mate. Uh, if sun shines tomorrow, do you think your team can uh, bowler have ability to uh, bowl out uh, Bangladesh team? Yeah, wh why not? Uh, you've got to have that belief. Um, look, we'll, we'll see what happens. Look, admittedly, they. Um, the odds are probably in favour of Bangladesh. We don't shy away from that. But we've already lost. If we walk out there expecting to lose, we've already lost. So we need to go out there. We know what can happen. We took six for 26 in the, in the first inning. So we know that we can have an impact with the ball if we bowl really well. You need, need, uh, need to bowl well, absolutely. You need your catches to be taken. We need, um, you know, sometimes you need those 50-50 things to go your way. And, um, but we've got to have that attitude and mindset that we're going to go out there and win a test match for Pakistan. And that will be what our energy will go into. I, I hope we get on tomorrow so we can try and win a, a test match. And um, we've got to have that mindset. Because if we, go, if we walk out there expecting to lose, well, I guarantee we'll lose. But if we walk out there with the mindset and the belief that we can try and shake this game up, then there's hope. And I'm all for that. I think we need to go out there with a real positive attitude. We need to bowl well. We need to take our catches, take any opportunity that comes our way. And you never know. Um, this, this game can be uh, can create all sorts of drama, so I'm hoping that we can create some theatre and create some drama and uh, and put a smile on a few people's faces here in Pakistan tomorrow. So let's see how we go, eh? Yes, sir. Hi, Jason Noman here. First up, I've got two questions. Firstly, it's related. You mentioned about driving Pakistan cricket forward, yeah. and I believe driving Pakistan cricket forward in some way, driving outside the line of off stump, we have somewhere lost the plot. I mean, you met you and Shan both mentioned about the positivity. Do you think somewhere along the lines of positivity, we are trying to be over aggressive and we are not being temperamentally up to the mark? We have seen Shan, I mean, he was trying to be overly aggressive, poking outside the line of Ofstam. Somewhere along the lines, we, are, we have not replicated what Mushraf Ikur Rahim has played. I mean, because we all believe test yep. cricket is a test of your temperament, your sure. resilience, your skills. Somewhere along the lines of being extra positive. We have not been up to the mark and resultantly we are we're on the verge of losing a test match within the three days. I mean, uh, realistically speaking, if the day would have been possible, we were on the verge of losing a test match. That's the first question that why have been, we, we have been trying to be too much positive. We can be, I mean, resilient to the situation. We can be temperamentally strong. We can take time like Mushrafiq did in his inning. Second question is that after the end of uh, this uh, tour of Bangladesh, we have a month off from international cricket. Pakistan is going to have the white ball tournament. 
do you think you being the red ball coach and pakistan from what we are seeing most of the pakistani players will be playing in that white ball tournament especially the fast bowlers would you be advising somewhat i mean would there be any communication between you and the red balls uh, white ball staff that with players do you don't think that uh, you know they'll be up to the mark in terms of their fitness because you have you know we have three test matches series to come so i've got two questions i hope you will remember each and every word what to say well well that's two of the longest questions i've ever been asked <laughs> Um, if I, what I will say, uh, just quickly, and I'll try and answer both of these as best I can. Um, you talked about the, the positivity of the, the, our batters. Um, look, they're, they're, our shot selection, that's something that we continually talk about. And we, we do want to play with intent. You know, the best way to put um, the pressure back on the opposition is to score runs. And yes, we need to make sure that our shot execution is absolutely spot on. You know, you talk about players playing shots and sometimes they get out, but sometimes they score runs as well. So, you know, we've just got to make sure that we're really clear in our decision making, um, making the right decisions on the right balls, but trusting our players to go out there and, and, and score the runs that, that, that they want to score. So um, it's that balance, absolutely. And, and we'll get that, 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 that that'll evolve and, and that'll happen. Um, Second party question. Um, I'm trying to remember what was said. Sorry. Oh, white ball cricket. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, there, yes, there is a white ball uh, series in the middle. Um, look, that's out of, out of my control. That's, that's been put together. The PCB have, have put this tournament together. Um, we, we'll have a camp leading into the um, Test Series versus um, England. There's not a huge amount of cricket for the players to play and I, I think there's an opportunity for lads to go out there and um, and yes it is white ball cricket but it's still cricket they still go out there it's still a contest between bat and ball um, I'm happy for them to go out there and, and play some cricket we're gonna have plenty of lead in time to the next test series against England so we'll have a, we'll have a camp we'll just um, you know, sharp, sharpen our skills and be ready and make sure we're physically ready, but make sure we're mentally ready for the challenge that uh, England are going to give us. So um, really excited about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank no you. problem at all, guys. Always a pleasure. Thank you.